Hey everybody, David the AI Guide here. Welcome to another episode. This is the AI Guide where we're making AI human. What does that mean? That means that we talk about the human impact of not only AI, but the converging exponential technologies that AI is enabling. Robotics, 3D printing, just to name two. So stay tuned here to stay on the cutting edge of what's going on. And today we're going to circle back to one of my favorite topics and one of the very first videos I did was on AI and agriculture. And this is an important topic, right? Why? Because by 2030, it's expected that there will be uh, well more than 8 billion people on planet Earth approaching 9, and by 2040 or so, 10 billion people, certainly by 2050. This means that food production and doing things to improve food yield is extremely important. This is especially true due to climate change. Climate change is real. We are a science channel. We deal with the reality. Climate change is real, and that is going to affect agriculture production. For example, on weather.com just today, there was a video about a forecast that the world's glaciers except for Antarctica and Greenland, will have disappeared by the year 2050. This is all the glaciers remaining on the North American, European, and African continent. It went on to say that 40% of the world's population gets their drinking water from these sources. So think about 8 to 10 billion people on the planet, 4 billion of which no longer have fresh drinking water because the glaciers are gone. And you begin to understand the magnitude of the challenges that we're going to be facing. Well, today we're going to talk about a company called Verdant Robotics. And this company was founded by people who worked at the Jet Propulsion Lab at NASA. And they also worked at some of the self-driving companies. And they are working to revolutionize agriculture. So how are they doing that? Well, they are using artificial intelligence, obviously, which is our focus, uh, to build farm equipment that manages plants at the millimeter level. So what does this mean? Well, that means that they have an attachment that goes behind a tractor in huge fields, and right now they only work in specialty crops. Think um, berries like strawberries, raspberries, stuff like that. This technology, what it does is when the plants first emerge from the ground, it uses a laser to read those plants, and what it will do is apply fertilizer just to the tiny area meaning a millimeter, which is much less than an inch for my U.S. audience. Um, much of the rest of the world is on millimeters. But at the millimeter scale, it will fertilize those plants. Also, as the growing season goes on, it will identify weeds growing in between the emerging plants and target pesticides only to that little weed that's coming up at the millimeter scale. So what does this all mean? Well, first of all, it, this technology, AI enabled, can reduce pesticide use by 95%. Think what that does for the environment, to improve the environment, to, to eliminate over time, right? Because this equipment is currently expensive, but you know, over years, it will become more affordable, made at scale, and spread over the world. But what would the world be like if we could reduce our pesticide use by 95%? It also reduces fertilizer use by 95%. 
What does that mean? Well, fertilizer, as it's applied today in bulk, runs off of fields into rivers and streams and then into the oceans and creates huge dead zones in the ocean. You can see a story about this on weather.com or, or nasa.gov about the annual dead zone at the mouth of the Mississippi River. So this is revolutionary technology that Verdant Robotics, and there's other companies, but I picked them because um, I was looking at a story related to investments in AI-enabled technology, and they mentioned this company. This is very, very cool stuff. So AI plus lasers reads plants at the millimeter scale and applies fertilizer or pesticide. And also, I didn't mention this yet, but very importantly, dramatically increases yield of a given field. That's what's critical, right? Because as population continues to grow and fresh water continues to disappear, this is going to be very, very critical. And another gen of this product will, instead of using those huge sprinklers that they use right now to saturate an entire field, water will be applied at the plant, tiny plant scale or bigger plant scale and save tons and tons of water. So these technologies, all AI enabled, are a game changer for food production. This is big for the growing population of the world and the people of the world. So we'll stay on top of this and keep you advised as this technology further matures. Thanks so much for tuning in. Click the links below. Get my book on Amazon, The Beginner's Guide to AI, A Short History of AI and Current Impact on 10 Different Industries. And the other link is free resources. Learn more about AI because you need to prepare for the future. Why? Because this is a perfect technology of, sorry, perfect example of a technology that will eliminate farm jobs, right? <laughs> Last video, we talked about eliminating other kinds of jobs in manufacturing. So this is the way the world is going. Be smart. Click the links below. Check it out. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.